G'day, uh, just a quick tutorial on the weapon macro that I was making for you guys. Uh, some people have said that it's a little bit confusing and hard to use, so this is just to explain how, how it goes into the game and how to use it. Uh, okay, so let's just pretend for a moment that I've just copied the text of a gauze rifle macro from the forum, and I'm going to bring it into the game. So I click on my character sheet, and if you go up the top, so here's, here's your default character sheet, over in Attributes and Abilities, and I'll click on the Add button, and the Add button will add another macro to the bottom of this list. So to edit it, I'll just click on the pencil, and I'm just going to put in gauze, and I'm just going to paste, uh, Control V, uh, the text of the macro straight in there, and I click on this tick to save it. Okay, so boom, there it is. Now the, the important bit is to tick this box here that says Show as Token Action. And then you're done so uh, I'm going to just click on my token and you'll see the gauze button up here so when, when you want to attack someone you click on the gauze button and the first thing you see is a choose target banner so I'm gonna get Caleb to shoot himself because he's got no targets but if there was a robot or a bad guy there you click on that token obviously uh, this macro gives you an option of firing a burst or a single shot so I'm just gonna fire a burst uh, rounds aiming, I'm just going to spend one minor action aiming and target behind cover, I'm going to say no but you've got a bunch of options there and target reacting, they can dodge or they can duck behind cover or no so I'm just going to again select no, uh, say it's uh, medium range other modifiers, uh, now here you can put in anything so I'm just going to put in a minus two uh, from back in the days when Caleb had a minus two penalty from his battle dress or lack of battle dress skill and boom, there you go. And so I just roll to attack and I've got an effect of two. So if you hover over the effect, you'll see all of the modifiers there that tell you what added and subtracted to your roll. And at the end, it just subtracts eight to get the effect. Okay, that's pretty basic. Uh, if you've got any questions or problems with that, there's also a damage macro that works the same way. Uh, obviously, you just add the effects when you roll that macro up and um, it's all good. Uh, got any questions or problems with it, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, tough.